All right, welcome everyone to Movement Meditation. Um, yeah, today we are going to be talking and dwelling on this idea of mindful movement. Um, we're going to really consider what's going on in our bodies and in our minds and our souls and kind of bring all of those elements together. So what's most important for movement meditation is that you feel safe. You feel safe in your body to move and express how you want to move and express. And it doesn't really matter what you look like. It's not about what you look like. It's about what you're feeling and what you're noticing in your body, mind and soul. So welcome today to this practice. Just have a little look around you and check that you've got some space to move. Um, if you want to shut off your microphone and uh, please shut off your microphone, your microphone and your camera, um, because it might make you feel uh, more secure, then totally feel free to do that as well. All right, we're just going to start with a little bit of seated meditation. So if you just wanted to begin to shut down the eyes, if that feels safe to you, if you prefer to keep them open, you are welcome to keep them open. But wherever you're at and whatever you choose, just begin to link to your breath. Just beginning to notice the air flowing in and out of your body. Not trying to control it at this stage, just noticing the breath. Noticing how it moves the body. And with your mind's eye, maybe tracing where that breath goes. Does it just settle at the top section of the lung? Or can you trace it and allow it to go all the way down into the belly? Maybe even into the limbs. Allow the inhale to just flow into your body and on your exhale, I just want to invite you to see if you can exhale a little longer than the inhale. And I'm going to read this poem over you. As swimmers dare to lie face to the sky and waters bear them. As hawks rest upon air and the air sustains them. So would I learn to attain free fall and float into creator spirit's deep embrace, knowing no effort earns that all surrounding grace. As swimmers dare to lie face to the sky and waters bear them, as hawks rest upon air and air sustains them. So would I learn to attain free fall and float into creator spirit's deep embrace, knowing no effort earns that all surrounding grace. Let's take a moment to notice how those words sit with you. Maybe taking notice of this holding of your body.
if you're ready, you might like to blink open the eyes. And I want to invite you to just begin to rub your hands together, creating some friction and creating some warmth. And then hovering your hands maybe one inch from your face and just begin to feel the energy radiating, the heat radiating. The presence that is not touching but is very much there. And then bringing those hands down in front of you and I just want you to begin to study your hands. Just look at them really mindfully. Maybe tracing the lines. Thinking about all these hands have touched and done and created. hand with the other. Feeling the weight of the top hand on the bottom. You just hold it. Maybe place a hand under your arm and get really floppy with one arm. Just feel this being held feeling just for a moment. And then release those hands down and just give them a little shake. Take a deep inhale and on your exhale, just take an extended exhale breath. <sighs> Maybe breathing it out a little. And as you keep shaking those hands down by your side, I just want to invite you to begin to stand up. But as you do so, just begin to kind of shake your way up. Moving your chair out of your way if you have a chair in the way. And just have a little bounce here. And then finding stillness, maybe a small sway that feels really soothing. And then I want you to bring your left hand down, maybe just one foot from your body. Right hand's gonna come over and just very, very gently resting on the left side of the head. We're not pulling down, but I want you to just begin to bring right ear to right shoulder, taking a little neck stretch. And then release that hand, chin to chest, other side, left ear, left shoulder. Bring out that right hand about one foot from the body and left hand just comes on top and just very gently rests. So pull down on the neck. Just allow that weightiness. Maybe feeling the hand on the face, on the skin. And then release. Interlace those fingers together. Place those hands behind the neck. And I want to see if you can just flop that neck down and look up. Feel your hand really supporting the head. And take a moment to just consider this idea of maybe floating in the ocean. somehow held and suspended by the water beneath you. Allowing yourself to surrender into being held by the great unknown.
release those hands and then just allow your body to flop forward in whatever way you get there. Be mindful of your lower back if you're like me. And just have a little shake here. Maybe a bounce, releasing anything, any tension. And then slowly rolling all the way up to standing. Just take it really slow, vertebrae by vertebrae. Notice how you are held. And then we're going to take our very famous and beloved figure eight symbols. It's got two beautiful butterflies. I don't know if you can see that. They were just flying in front of the camera. <laughs> and we're going to try and create these figure eight symbols with our hands, then moving into our bodies, wherever it is. But I just want you to begin to move in these figure eights. No beginning, no end. And we're going to stay here for quite some time. To the point where you begin to just surrender into the moon. as swimmers dare to lie face to the sky and water bears them. As hawks rest upon air and air sustains them. So would I learn to attain free fall and float into creator spirit's deep embrace, knowing no effort earns that all surrounding grace. Feel the free fall of your limbs. Feel the free fall of your body. And how you are held. You don't keep free falling, you are caught by the great creator spirit. to move that figure eight feeling movement within the body now not just in the limbs but bring it inside the body how does the body move maybe it's a visible thing to the outside eye or maybe it's not maybe it's just these tiny tiny figure eight movements inside that no one can see the eternal within. Always moving, always pulsating life. No matter how small. I want you 
to draw from that little eternity symbol within your body and begin to sweep those arms all the way up over your head. Look up. Feel the muscles engage in your legs, in your quads, these big fat muscles at the top of the thighs. Feel the kneecaps lift, feel the hands engage, get really strong through the fingertips. Almost engage all the muscles in the back body. And then exhale, relax, maybe fold it forward or just flop forward. Allow the arms to sway and be heavy. Allow the kneecaps to drop. And then create a little bounce in the knees. And we're gonna bounce our way to standing. when you're ready I want to invite you to take a seat but I really want to invite you to if you are able to lie flat on the ground <laughs> if you can I know it might not be for everyone I'm gonna take a seat but if it's available to you I just want to invite you maybe to just find the floor find the floor relax every muscle on the ground you know what I will if you're outside like me, feeling the earth beneath you, holding you, as you look up. Feeling yourself held by this earth. You will not continue to sink down. It will hold you. Whether sitting or lying, I just invite you to get the limbs, make them feel really heavy. The chair will hold you. Can you trust that it will hold you? Get really heavy through the limbs and the head if you're lying. Drop the big toes out to the side. And as you look up at the expanse of the sky or even the expanse of your ceiling, can you know that you will not sink any further? You will be held. Just closing the eyes and letting go here. As I read our poem just one last time. As swimmers dare to lie face to the sky and the water bears them. As hawks rest upon the air and the air sustains them. So would I learn to attain free fall and flow into creator spirit's deep embrace, knowing no effort earns that all surrounding grace. Take a moment in this posture of surrender, whatever it is for you. be sustained, to listen for the teachings of your body right now. What is your embodied self trying to teach you about the spiritual life?
I invite you to take a deep inhale through the nostrils. Feel the chest rise, the ribs expand out to the side and the belly inflate with breath. And on your exhale, I invite you to open the mouth and just <sighs> sigh it out. Taking a few deep breaths, releasing what is stuck and stagnant on the exhale. If you are in a restful position that you want to remain in, I just want to invite you to close your screen and stay here as long as you need to. However, if you would like to join us in a, a sharing time, if you are on the ground, I invite you to roll over onto one side using your arm as a pillow and slowly coming to a seated position. And when you're ready, joining us back for this time. Thank you everyone for joining me today.